Alright, hey guys, what's up? This is Kulo here. So how's that Steel Rebellion expansion going for you guys, man? I'm having a blast, definitely. It's a, it's definitely one of the funnest expansions that I played for sure. There's so many cards, there's so many just like combos that you could do. Every day I'm just thinking like, hey, what about this? Hey, what about that? And it's just like, it's really, really fun. It's so much better than Altisphere, I gotta say. Steel Rebellion, I'm really looking forward to the mini expansion as well to get all those uh, Makina cards. And we'll see what we get for the next expansion. But today, uh, so just like half an hour ago, I was um, recording for this video. And I had a really great game. And um, I didn't have my microphone on. I was so sad. I was so sad and I'm so salty right now. But we have this replay. <laughs> you see here, we got this replay. And I'm just going to show it to you guys from this replay. But it was such an awesome game. So what I wanted to show you guys today was the buff blood. So we're just going to be skipping it over a little bit. Right here, so we're going to be going to the buff blood. And there's three new, nice cards that I want to show you. The Hellblaze Demon, it's a ward, fanfare, pl give plus x plus zero to a Bloodcraft follower in your hand. X, e x equals the number of other allied followers in your hand. So, on the board. And we got Laura, obviously, the really crazy card. If Vengeance is active for you, for you give Storm to a follower, right? So I want to give Storm to Medusiana, and that is my plan here with the buff blood. So here we go. We're going to be going in. Let's just skip this part a little bit. Alright, so we're going to be facing against this Forest Craft. I'm so glad we were facing against Forest Craft, and it's not Dragon Ramp or uh, Sword Craft. I'm super happy about that. So we got Medusa, Saloom, and a Medusa. So I'm going to be keeping one Medusa to get that Medusian effect. And we got that Milnard and Relinquish. Milnard is not that strong. I mean, it's not really useful to have right now. It's a, it's more of like a late game. And we got Relinquish. Well, you could use a Milnard to make an aggro deck. I haven't done that yet. That might be kind of interesting. But he didn't really do anything on his first turn. So we don't really have anything as well. So we're just going to be ending our turn here. We got Relinquish for turn three. And he's got Fairy Whisper. Interesting. wonder what kind of deck he's going to be playing. So we'll be playing out that Relinquish. And Laura, Trill, Salem. Okay, so all these cards getting buffed up is really good. I'm really happy about that. 6-5 Milnard, 4-4 Medusa. That's a really solid stat. We got that 4-5 Salem as well, just in case to uh, heal up our face. We got that Trill for the like, AoE. And we got that Laura to give Medusa Yana the storm effect. So all we need right now is to get into Vengeance and get that um, buffs, I guess. So he's got that Lisa out. I wonder what that what kind of deck he's gonna be playing. So we got that Vela. Should I be playing playing that that Vela? Not really sure. Maybe the Trill, just in case he he like mass the uh, mass spams the board or something. Maybe the Demon Song. Wait a second. But wait, maybe we should put out that Vela. The board is not that strong at the moment. It's only a 1-3 and a 1-1. Hmm. What's Kulo gonna do? What's he gonna do? Trill or Vela? He's definitely not gonna be putting out Laura. That would be really stupid. Okay, there he goes. He's gonna be putting out that AoE. He's gonna get that Demon Song for next turn. Maybe. We'll see what goes. So we got that Medusa for turn 5, we got that Salome just in case he goes really really strong, aggressively. And we got that Vela or the Demon Song for next turn as well, so we got options for next turn. So let's see what he does here. He's got a 1-3 and a 1-1. He's got 4 play points and Evo. So at the moment it seems like I think he's winning because he could deal with that 5-3 really easily. A Daisy Bow Archer. That's a really interesting interesting card. I haven't used that card yet. Okay, so the Evo C Fairy Whisper. Probably gonna be going face, I guess. Okay. And the area's whirlwind. 
What? Nani? <laughs> eh? I think that lat like, previously I showed you guys a video as well, like, someone did that with the Aeria's Whirlwind as well. Man, they have a lot of mis misplays with the Aeria's Whirlwind for sure, because I have a Demon Song in my hand. I don't know if he knows, but I put a trail out in last turn, so I had that Demon Song in my hand. So we got Lycos as well, so we have that Vengeance effect coming up as well. So, what I'm thinking here is I'm probably going to be putting out that Demon Song and clear up the board and put out that Lycos and Evo. Yes, that's most likely the best play at the moment to get our meme, meme effect going on. So we got that Lycos and next turn we have to be um, Evoing the Medusa to get that Medusiana. So we got to keep that Eva point for Medusa. And we got that Laura. Laura as well, so this is going to be really nice. Oh, he's got that Carbuncle. Interesting. That's a really interesting card. I got to use that more. Man, the Steel Rebellion is giving us so many options to Evo, which is really nice. Like, this this is what I wanted. This kind of like really, this really feels like the um, Darkness Evolves back in the day. And that was good. But anywho, we got that one cost Blood Moon as well now, so we're definitely going to be putting out that Blood Moon and most likely the Medusa. So he's got that two play points as well at the moment. And a 1-1. Okay, so he's got two fairies now. Oh man, that is a really weak board. I'm definitely going to be putting out the Blood Moon and the Medusa. No questions. And we got that Hellblaze Demon. Oh my god, that is a dream card at the moment. We need that Hellblaze Demon and give it to uh, the Medusiana, probably next turn. Evo the Medusa. Get that Medusiana in our hand. I, guys, man, like, Medus this card, Medusa, I feel like it's a really strong card. People don't really play it. I haven't seen anyone play it, to be honest. Definitely an underrated card. I've been using this card since day one of Steel Rebellion. I've been like loving this card for sure. You have to just Evo it and get Medusiana in your hand. Because Medusiana pretty much um, deals with Poseidon. It deals with a lot of um, Swordcraft boards. Say if there's like two minions plus a Latham, Medusiana, bam, they're, they're gone. Same as what's a strong board. Say like, what's that name? Um, what's his name? The Runecrafts. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't. It's not coming out. It's like there. <laughs> it's so close. Mysteria. Mysteria. Oh my god. <laughs> Mysteria. You know, like Mysteria? Wait a second. He didn't kill my Medusiana. He did not kill my Medusiana. That's six damage free to the face. And I'm at 12 cost. I mean, sorry, I'm at 12 health right now at the moment, so we're fine at the moment. So we're going to be putting out that Laura and give it to Medusiana. So he's a 1 7 storm now, and we got that Hellblaze Demon coming out at the moment as well. Give plus 2 plus 0 to Medusiana. So he's going to be a 3 7 storm. Oh man, dream is coming true, guys. Okay. So let's go face with that 6 2. And end our turn. So we're not going to be dead next turn because we're not we're not playing against Kakutis. We're not playing against Swordcraft or anything, right? It's a sword. Uh, it's a Forcecraft at seven PP. I don't think he could kill us at the moment because we got a two-two ward, man. The How Blaze Demon is such a strong card. It's two-two ward, and it buffs up your minion as well. So it's a really strong card for sure. So we got that Midu Sienna in our hand. It's a 3-7 storm. Oh snap, Mecha Lance. Mecha Lance is such a strong card. Okay. Okay, can you kill me? No. Okay, you can do five more damage to my face. He's probably gonna be clearing up that Medusa or the Laura. We'll see what he does. Maybe both. Nope! He went face guys, so. We got that 5, and we got that Midu Sienna that's gonna be doing 9 damage to the face. We got lethal. Oh my god, we were able to get this 
Medusiana lethal on game one. Super exciting. I was super excited, guys. I was like, hell yes. This is the first game. I didn't have to do anything else. I could... I was so stoked because my Saturday is going to be freed up now. Because <laughs> I didn't have to play hours. I was so happy and I wanted to show it to you guys, but my microphone wasn't working. But we're going to be buying some packs. I'll tell you this, it was nothing crazy, to be honest. <laughs> okay, we got nothing here. Oh wait, we did get something. I'm sorry, we did get something. So, we got that Displacer Bot. That's what we got. We got that animated Displacer Bot, guys. Hella awesome. No, I'm just kidding. We got one more pack coming up, right here. And here we go. What do we get here? BAM! Truth Seeker Faust. Okay, so that's gonna be my third copy for Truth Seeker Faust as well. So we're definitely gonna be making an Earth Raked Truth Seeker Faust Runecraft deck. All right, so that's gonna be it for today. Hopefully this microphone's working right now. Anywho, thank you so much for watching, guys, and hopefully you guys have a great, great day. Peace out.